Dave called. He was crying. He actually cried. He said if I'd come back, they'd give me a corner office with new furniture and a raise. Like, that's supposed to make up for everything. Anyway, I, I took the job. I, I couldn't think. I was still high from the Little League game. Isn't that demented? That a grown man's happiness depends on whether a nine-year-old catches a pop-up? I mean, what if he missed? But he didn't. But he could have. But he didn't. But he could have. But he didn't, Gil. <laughs> You threw him 12 million pop-ups in the backyard. You cut the odds considerably. If you hadn't, ow, ow. But there's three of them, and you want to have four. And the, the fourth one could be Larry. And they're going to do a lot of things. I mean, baseball's the least of it. And in all those things, sometimes they're going to miss. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they will. Sometimes they will. Sometimes they will. What do you want me to give you? Guarantees? These are kids, not appliances. Life is messy. Oh, I hate messy. It's, it's, it's so messy. You know, when I was 19, Grandpa took me on a roller coaster. Oh? <laughs> up, down, up, down. Oh, what a ride. What a great story. I always wanted to go again. You know, it was just interesting to me that a ride could make me so, so frightened, so scared, so sick, so, so excited, and, and so thrilled all together. Some didn't like it. They went on the merry-go-round. That just goes around. Nothing. I like the roller coaster. You get more out of it. Well, I'll be seeing you in the car. She's a very smart lady. Come on, Taylor, your ears are ready. Yeah, a minute ago I was really confused about life. And then Grandma came in with her wonderful and affecting roller coaster story, and now everything's great again. I happen to like the roller coaster, okay? As far as I'm concerned, your grandmother is brilliant. Come on, Taylor. Come on, hurry up. If she's so brilliant, how come she's sitting in our neighbor's car? <laughs> 